All right, I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> it's very interesting because I come from a theater background. I'm an actress, and um, of course, film and theater have completely different requirements. But you had been so slightly, like, so unconspicuously able to capture impre expressions from the actors that normally, if they were aware that there's a camera, they were going to overact um, shamelessly or <laughs> incurably because theater actors have a tendency of doing that. But how did you manage to get into their lives and make yourself invisible to be able to make this film? Um, well, first of all, I think for documentary filmmakers, it's a key uh, to be friends with your characters. And uh, once I established this trust, I guess, uh, first, at first they were trying to a little bit to act. Um, but uh, then it's through time it gets easier and easier and um, I still, I'm still in touch with Rachel and all other characters and we go to each other's performances and showcases and uh, yeah, I just was uh, really silent to fly on the wall for a long time and uh, Stephanie said don't pay attention to the camera to all other actors and maybe I talked to all the cast members only in the middle of the production. So they just was, they get used to the camera, I think. That's interesting, because with documentaries, we've also been, uh, we also had the same question earlier, because it was about uh, Greg Taylor, the uh, wrongfully incarcerated prisoner who was in prison for 17 years. And every time we talk about these uh, situations where it's very difficult to introduce a camera and be invisible, um, it becomes a matter of trust. How much do you trust your director and how you establish that trust between subject and uh, director? It's particularly important in the case of documentaries, but I think it's also important in the case of narratives. And I'm going to ask the question to Anna about that. Ayo, Hoswik at Panima Simbor, the Stahutun Betkin, Nation Chef Terra Sami, as the Iran's Kimma documentary, a documentary image. Պետք է որ վստահին իրենց ռեժիսորին, որ կարող անան հանգիստ ապրել, իսկ կո վիմը, որ խաղարգյանին է, նրա համար ալ պետք է վստահություն ունենալ, որ վեսի կարող անա թերասանը ծրսեր որբ է, այդ կարծում են � Հասեն եթե դերասանը սիրի դերասանի, ամբ այման դերասանը կվոքևորի։ Հեկուստ է հենց սիրու զգրպած կսկսի վստահել։ Well, it's the same thing, whether you're talking about a narrative or a documentary, the element of trust is very, very important to establish that rapport between the filmmaker and the subject or the actor in this case. And she says when you, there is a mutual liking and there is understanding and love and trust, which is the most important thing. And it's something you cannot learn at film school or any school, but it's something that you have instinctively as a filmmaker and that you are able to use so that the actor opens up and gives their best performance. And as an actor, I can say that that's the dream director, so. <laughs> um, okay, yes, there is a question. Um, hi, Victor. Your film opens up so many interesting questions about performance, and I was just wondering from is Rachel. I'm sorry, Rachel. Yeah. Yep. Hi. Mm -hmm. Having been on both sides of it, working in a you know, theater all your life and being in a production with predominantly, I assume it's like is it, I don't know if it was all people with disabilities or just some. It was like half and half. Yeah. yeah. Did, does that inform your work in a way that you hadn't? Been it does, yeah. I think um, after I lost my leg, I I feel like I became almost a better actor because I had so much more um, of a life. I I did so much living, um, and I think that you know I, I experienced such a loss, and um, I was lucky enough to have a great support system behind me, so I could 
you know, go through all the grieving steps and finally come to accept it and everything. But I went through that whole process and um, I feel like now I'm a better actor because I can tap into my emotions more easily and um, I can feel that deep sorrow, but I can also feel happiness so much more too. And I don't take things for granted anymore and I think, um, I think that it really affects my work on both stage and screen now. It was so interesting, the comment that one of the actors made that it was um, to be somebody that you can never be. I mean, everybody who acts is somebody that they never will be, but to be, like, a, have a disability, and then to be, like, I want to be a romantic lead or something like that. It's such a wonderful leap, and it, it, to think that, I don't know, like, you, you people have such inspiration to, to act yeah. in life as well as on stage now. Yeah, I think it's so important to see people with disabilities in the media, on stage and screen, because we are real people. We're not just here to inspire you, and we're not villains, we are just people. So I think that the more that we can put someone with a prosthetic leg in a leading lady role in The Music Man, or something like that, um, we just need to be seen more and understood more, and I think that these films do a great job of showing us as real people and people with dreams and goals. And I mean, we might be seen as inspiring, but we are just people trying to live our lives and everyone has struggles. Ours might just be a little more apparent than others. <laughs> well, inspiration is contagious and it doesn't, you don't have to be disabled to inspire. You can be anybody and inspire, or you can be disabled and not inspire. So, I mean, it's like, you know, it all is a matter of how you look at the, at, at the issue at hand. However, it's very interesting to learn about different people and about different abilities instead of disabilities, different abilities, because that's how we are able to have a world that is diverse, that has, it complements, we complement each other. It's not, we're not the same, and yet we are all linked together by a similarity. And that's what this festival is about. It's to bring the stories to the forefront so that people learn about others who are similar to themselves, but also about others who are different from themselves. And it's, it's all about all of us. <laughs> so if you don't have any more questions, then maybe we'll thank the filmmakers Anna came all the way from Armenia. Victor is from Russia, right? Oh, I yeah, I live here. But he lives here. <laughs> and I'm all the way from New Jersey. Oh, <laughs> across the river. <laughs> yes, and everybody's all the way from somewhere. So thank you very much for being here. The next movie is about uh, Sail the Wind. Uh, about the sailors that I already announced and it's preceded by a short about Ethiopia. So let's clear so that the other group can come in.